Welcome back to another episode of Silent Pals Go to the Movies. This is another Throwback Thursday review. Tuli is busy, so I'll be reviewing The Untouchables by myself. And just a fair warning, there's going to be spoilers up ahead, so you've been warned. During the era of prohibition in the United States, federal agent Elliot Ness sets out to stop ruthless Chicago gangster Al Capone, and because of rampage corruption, assembles a small hand-picked team to help him. So let's begin with my first pro. This movie has a number of big names, but just enough to not overwhelm the viewers. It kept it in a small number, just like like Elliot Ness did with his group to be more manageable. We have Robert De Niro, Kevin Costner, Andy Garcia, Patricia Clarkson, and even Sean Connery. With these names, each one plays a role but does not overwhelm the scenes. It's just the right amount of numbers so you can keep your eyes on the ball. Next, the story is kind of a historical accurate, sort of. I mean, there was a real Al Capone during the Prohibition era and the Prohibition era was real. Also, Elliot Ness was a real federal agent and his group, the Untouchables, were real. I see why they omitted some things so the pace would be a little faster and not slow and also they added some stuff to make it more interesting for the viewers so we could keep up with the characters and make it a little more interesting and not strain away from the main point which is Al Capone and Elliot Ness. Next, the whole vibe of the wardrobe, the set design and even the way they talk was a really nice touch. It actually made you feel more invested in the movie and it kept you interested so it kind of took you in into the scene. Just have to say that by adding those things and having the right camera and the right setup makes it so much better. For example, one of my favorite scenes was right after the first raid that the Untouchables were sitting around a table and smoking cigars and how the camera is moving around the table continuously in one shot and they're all talking and it was really nicely done and executed. And for that and some other scenes, this movie is going to get the grade that I'm going to give it at the end. Now moving on to my cons. The real Untouchables were not a group of four guys made by Elliot Ness. They actually was more roughly around nine or so. I get it that they wanted to make it seem like a family, small knit family and have a multiple array of people like Malone and Stone but I just wanted more scenes such as raids and I felt that this was going to be important in the movie to show how they started hacking at Capone and not just a few raids and basically Al Capone would have been outraged. I wanted to see them slowly going from one small bus to another to actually the big bus from the border Canada and the United States. Also I felt how they let Malone played by Sean Connery take the reins of the whole thing was too much just to have him die at the end but if there were more of them and each one had a talent or a skill in the group to make the whole thing interesting and to basically make up the group profile so that way they can go against Al Capone just think about it if there was nine guys or so one could have a special talent one could be basically underground talking among other people and getting the intel another person would be the gun guy so that way they can actually all come together and basically make a component of a group and yes they can basically feed off each other one of them would teach the other guys like there was a tax guy who came in and basically they gave him a gun and he said yeah let's go for it something more along that line so they can all feed off each other and basically become a well-rounded group and also how they portrayed Al Capone was okay but I wanted more instead of just seeing him sitting there like he couldn't be touched by anybody tell us a little bit about Al Capone and what his weakness was you know we want to see both sides of Elliot and Al Capone and maybe this is kind of a similar story as Batman and the Joker you know they can be one without the other Next con, there was not enough of Elliot, played by Kevin Costner, to make me feel that he changed from the beginning of the movie versus the end of the movie. He just came in, learned from Malone, and then said, okay, after he died, he says, I'm done, I'm going back home, Al Capone is locked up, and out he went. Why not have him change internally so we see his persona evolve from what Malone had taught him, and we see this sort of evolve throughout the movie. Once he sees Malone, he starts learning and starts becoming streetwise. Also, if they left the movie the way it was, why not add at the end a little bit more information about Elliot or the others even if it's not real just keep it going like for example they could add it Stone went on to become so and so and thanks to the untouchables Chicago changed for the best or blah 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 and then end credits and that would have been a little bit nicer also talking about credits the opening credit scene was way too long and not much happened on screen it just kept on going it would have been nice if we saw Capone's man transporting alcohol over the state line or bribing some officials so they can get the alcohol into Chicago streets set up the mood of the movie you know get us to know what they're doing before we actually see the bomb go off at the first scene so my grade for this movie is going to be a 7 out of 10 for the time that this movie was made
played. It was okay. It could have been better, but still a nice movie to watch. Just wanted to have more about Elian Nest, see him becoming and or changing his ways to think like Malone and see it from his side. We didn't see this until the end, till the rooftop scene where he actually took charge and pushed the guy off. A little violent, but still it was kind of the Malone way to do things. But I wanted to see this change occur sooner than later in the movie. So that does it for this review of The Untouchables. Please join us next time when we are going to review Chinatown. What on earth for? Holly seems to think you're an innocent man. <laughs> well, I've been accused of a lot of things before, Mrs. Mulray, but never that. Please like, comment, and subscribe. You can find our social media links below. And like always, keep watching movies.